So you've successfully completed your task. You've breezed through the holidays. Christmas came and went with flying colors, and now you're ready to cruise into a new year, hoping to fly high with a successful and happy 2022. And I truly hope and wish that for you and your family. Hopefully nobody comes in and puts the brakes on your success. Welcome back everybody to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Now we gotta take a second look at this one. These guys apparently ran through a gate at a military base and of course the guards weren't too happy with that. So the guards went ahead and activated one of the road barricades and unfortunately for this crew it looks like the truck and the boat lost on this one. Now that we've gotten through Christmas you've been out there spending that time with your family. I hope everybody made it through that successfully without any injuries. I know it can get a little wild and crazy when you're hanging with your family over the holidays and people will get out there and do some crazy things. One of the toughest parts as a boater once you get through the holidays is something clicks pretty quick especially if you're living in the northern hemisphere. You quickly realize that winter has set in. You may have had the distractions of the holidays and many people will even be able to boat through September and October in the northern hemisphere unless you live up in the far north and then your season's probably already been done for a while but for those of us that aren't quite that far north we're just starting to feel this winter set in. We've had distractions up until this point and those distractions are now gone and you may be thinking to yourself man it'd be nice to go out on the boat maybe get a little fishing in only to all of a sudden realize that that season's gone but don't worry you're not alone and there's plenty of boaters here to help you through your troubles and if you feel like you need that little bit of extra assistance to help you get through those winter blues don't forget to check out our facebook group drain plug mafia there's plenty of like-minded boaters over there who are more than willing to assist you in getting through this winter Till now, you've had many distractions. Many people will find things to do, especially in October, November, and December with their boats to still keep them occupied. Some people will do things like this where they'll go ahead and decorate their boats. Others will even take it to the next step. They'll decorate their boats, and of course, we'll see people enter their boats into the holiday parades that we'll see on display during this time of the year. Now these holiday parades with boats can be an interesting watch. If you've never attended one, just imagine this for a moment. We had nighttime, boating, extra lights to blind the captain, people who were excited about the holidays and trying to enjoy themselves, and then of course you throw a few adult libations into the mix, and well, fun things can happen. Don't challenge them. Oh, someone fell in. But now that these holiday festivities are gone, we've got to find other ways to occupy ourselves with boating. Now, some of us won't be finished just yet. Some of us are going to go ahead and don that cold weather gear, and we're going to continue to do some of our favorite hobbies out on the boat. Maybe you enjoy going out and still doing a little fishing, even though it's a little cold outside. The only thing that really does kind of go away for a lot of us during this time of year, of course, is being in the water. That's definitely the one place you want to avoid. One of the other things that I've noticed can happen during the winter sometimes is some of our boating courtesy and etiquette goes out the door. It's a little slower out on the water, a little slower around the ramp, and sometimes we just forget there's other people out there. The green truck is mine. The red truck is a guy who launched his boat this morning and took off in the boat, just left the boat, the trailer, and the truck on the ramp. So I had to squeeze in next to him. Nobody else can launch if they've got a big trailer. Now I'm just curious, what would happen at your local ramp if this situation arose? Let me know in the comments below. Doors unlocked, no keys. We used a larger trailer than mine to push his trailer to the side so that we could get a larger trailer back down next to him. It's the only way we could get any more boats out. Now I really do have to admit, these guys are pretty nice. I mean, to give you an example, this is what happened at my local boot ramp when somebody took up two parking spots last year, forget even blocking the ramp. Really not sure how something like this happens. Now, of course, there are other options. If you'd still like to boat through the winter, you could do like those Florida boys who are already in the comments saying, what is winter? You can go ahead and get yourself a bigger boat and try moving it down south. Now, I know for some of us, that's just not going to be an option. And well, some of us are gonna have to winterize. Good morning, welcome to Coldwater. Well, I've been talking to a lot of people on the East Coast, a lot of people in Central Canada. And what's happening? What's happening? winterizing of boats God. you know we're here in the west coast i am not uh i'm not uh 
Uh, I got to do the same thing. I got to do, they, they winterize, I winterize, and I'm going to show you how I winterize my boat. So basically, I'm on our new boat right here, and I'm going to show you how I winterize this, this bad boy. I got, uh, I got a hat, a pair of gloves. Put them inside, shut the door. That's it. I'm winterized. Hopefully this tip takes you far and wide. You guys have a great day. Don't fall in. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know when you might see your stories over here. Just like Adam Coolidge, Big Island Lovers, Doug Airedale, E-Town 2020, Freak Show Hornsburg, Honey Creek Fishing, Joel Pearham, Mondo Sense Birth, Miss 523 FOD, Reaper Fishing NJ, Daniel Bowes, and Sean Luter did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.